Your purpose must come before your relationship. If a woman who has an abundance of men in her life picks you, it's probably because you have some kind of purpose, some kind of direction in your life. Now what's going to happen is you're going to get into a relationship with this woman, and then at some point it's time for you to go to the gym. It's time for you to practice your craft, but you're going to sit down with her and say, you know, you're so beautiful. You're just the most beautiful girl in the world. I was going to go do all those things, but I love you more than anything. And what's going to happen is she's going to look at you and say, oh, that's really sweet, and then lose attraction for you and leave you. You want to think of yourself as a roller coaster. So she comes into the park and she sees all these different roller coasters and then she sees you. She looks at the path and she says, wow, that's going to be a fun path to go on. She comes up, she gets in, and instead of going on the journey and taking her with you, you say, you know what? No, I'm going to sit here. I'll spend time with you. You're my number one priority. And again, what's going to happen? She's going to get up and find <laughs> a new roller coaster to ride. Literally. Don't force the feminine to make decisions. The feminine does not like to make decisions. Again, this doesn't have to do with it being a guy or a girl. The feminine does not like to make decisions. But it's most likely going to be the girl. It's probably her coming in and saying, Hey, should I wear black or red today? Which one, honey? Which one? Instead of you doing that to her. So when she does that, what do most guys do? It's like, uh, I don't know. They both look really good. Um, I don't know. Just pick whichever one you want. And again, you're not making decisions. Now, if you're playing the masculine part in the relationship, that is your responsibility. And she's going to get turned off by it. Now, why do most guys not make that decision? First of all, it's like, there's the right decision and the wrong decision. Realize that there, most of the time, there is no right or wrong decision. And the second part is being indifferent. It doesn't matter. Pick something arbitrarily. Don't put the responsibility on the feminine because the feminine will start to resent you for it. What she wants is not what she says. So imagine you go shopping with one of your guy friends and you leave the store and you forgot something and you ask, hey, should we go back in and grab it? If he says, no, that's going to take too much time, that probably means, no, that's going to take too much time. Now, if you take your girlfriend with you, and the same thing happens, and she says, no, it's going to take too much time, that can mean, yes, I want to go in there. It can also mean no, but it can also mean yes. And as the guy, it is your responsibility to know what she means when. Now, how do you cultivate that? You do it through experience, you do it through being more attuned to her, you do it through educating yourself, but ultimately, that is your responsibility. Now with that, some guys still get angry and say, well, why can't she just tell me? <laughs> and the reason is because it's not as attractive. She won't feel that masculinity penetrate her. Just like if you were working and she came up to you and gave you a playful kiss and said something, you know, that would be the feminine energy that you crave and you would absolutely love it. Now imagine if you had to tell her that for her to do it. That would be the only way she would do it. She would say, oh, Thanks for telling me, now I know exactly what to do. It's not as attractive. You are responsible for the growth and intimacy. One of the most common problems in this category is sex. A lot of guys get into a relationship and then the sex isn't as good after a while. And what are they going to do? Well, she's not as fun anymore, she's not attractive anymore, putting all the blame on her. And again, it's like, are you reading books on sexual psychology? Are you trying to improve the sex? Are you introducing the new things required for the sex life to improve? No, I would never read a book. I mean, from another guy telling me how to have sex, that would massively affect my ego. Plus, I've been watching all this porn lately, so I know exactly what I'm doing. And again, what are you doing with that? You're putting all the blame on her and not taking the responsibility. You are the one that's responsible for the growth and intimacy. All you have to do is hold her hand and lead her. If you do that, she will follow you. Okay? She will do crazy things with you. The things that you thought were not even possible, she will do all those things. But as a man, you have to hold her hand and lead her. Unless she's masculine, she's not going to hold your hand and lead you.